this time, the question is, will the people vote for the Honorable Harina Idrisu again? Yes. Or, yes. or will they, for the first time in um, six elections, vote for the Honorable Fuseini Musa, representing the NPP? Or any other candidate, really, representing any other political party or independent candidate? That is the question. But more importantly, um, we want to speak to the many issues that young people especially face in this constituency. And their leaders are here. The question is, will the leaders have the answers that the young people need to hear to help them decide who to vote for? And also, will the young people in the constituency take full advantage of this opportunity to address the issues that matter? We're, we're, we're happy that everyone is here and we're ready to start. Um, I have with me here, um, please, can you introduce yourself? Please use the microphone. Yes, good morning. Good I'm morning. Aisha Gomda, an executive member co-opted of the Tamale South constituency. All right. Alaji Rauf Sulemana, Tamale South chairman. Alaji Sulemana, okay. Sedu Abbas Al Hassan, constituency secretary, Tamale South. All right. Issa Abdel Fatal, FT, communication officer, Tamale South. All right, you're welcome. And all, all of you are welcome. Choboy, Choboy, amazing. Now we have two microphones here on both sides and what we ask you to do is to step to the microphone. You have one minute each to um, speak to your leaders and tell them the issues that are plaguing this constituency and ask specific questions on how these issues can be solved for you, for the betterment of the people in this constituency. Now, also if you're watching us from home, you notice that when um, we, we listened to the leaders introduce themselves, there was no introduction by anybody um, from the New Patriotic Party or any other party. Um, that is because they are not here yet. We don't know if they will be here, but we'll update you as we go. So if you're watching us live and you're in the Tamale South constituency, representing any of the um, political parties, you're welcome to join us here. All right. Yes, sir. Please introduce yourself to us and tell us what, what your issues and concerns are. Former presiding member, Tamale Metro Assembly, and then a former assembly member of this particular electoral area. In fact, I have a lot to say. First of all, let me thank TV3 for initiating this laudable idea that will inform the electorate as to what to do come 7 December. I think I have to thank you very much. Please, I'm, I'm really surprised of what is happening this morning. What is happening? What is happening this morning is that we have a ruling government, that is MPP. We have a sitting mayor who is in charge of the metropolis. And then we have a PC for MPP. They should have been the first people to be here. And why are they not here? Why, TV3? They need to answer that question. Come 7 December, the people of Tamale South have to use today to declare Honorable Haruna Idrisu MP elect 2024. Tamale South. Please. In fact, as I said, there is a lot I wanted to ask the PC for MPP or the mayor of Tamale Metropolitan Assembly. You, you can ask. And Perhaps they are they watching are on TV, here. and when they arrive, they will no, answer. No, I would rather go to the MDC no, you, who you are can, here. You can ask. Yes. I know the Haruna Idrisu that I know. He's a visionary leader. He's a man of wisdom. He's a man of integrity, caring, commitment, and hardworking. As a result of that, as a result of that, he has brought a lot of developmental projects to the doorsteps of the people of Tamale South, and particularly Lamashagu South, which is the electoral area I come from. Okay. If I'm not going to make any mistake, raise your head and look at this block. Raise your head the and school, look at the this school building. School block. Okay. When I was an assembly member, I collaborated with him 
we wrote a series of letters, this blog came to be. During the MPP time, the current financial, finance minister, when he was a mayor, myself and the head of business of this block, we went to assembly, 7 a.m., just to present the issue of this block, these two blocks. We sat in the assembly, because I was an assembly member by then, I accompanied the headmistress. We sat 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and we couldn't set eyes on the mayor, who is now current finance minister. Then, when we sent the issue to the Harun Idrisu, he was able to use some few months, three months, to put up these two buildings here. Okay. And then this one. Okay. So please I let have somebody a lot else to say about yeah, let this. Somebody else. Especially let somebody the women else, who are seated here. Okay. When you go, Tamale, we have a lot of satellite markets. This satellite market, Lama Shegu. Let the women come and speak for themselves. Uh, they won't go to that area because they were not part of the initiative. So this man was able to make sure that during rainy season, the women couldn't go to market. The shell, the pavement, Installation of straight lights is now done. So the women, socioeconomic empowerment, they don't have problem now. All and right. you go ahead to give them small loans, small loans without interest, without interest. So please let me uh, pause here and throw some few questions to the secretary and then we we'll see when His Excellency John Dramani, Mahama, when he comes to power, and as we have already declared Haruna Idrisu MP elect, what are they going to do for us? Come 7th December and then 7th January. First of all, first of all, first of all, I'm coming from Metro Education Office as an officer from that office. And we know furniture defeats in Tamale, in regards to the Tamale Metro, and then Tamale sub in specific. Furniture defeat. A lot of students are lying on their stomach. In their, their constituency? Not in their constituency. In I the said district. I'm coming from Metro Education Office. I'm okay. in charge of basic schools. Okay. So by going around, I've seen that a lot of schools, including Tamale South, students are lying on, on their bare stomachs floor. in Tamale so, South. So, yes, I want to find out from the secretary. God willing, we have already declared Haruna Idusu MP elect. Then His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, when he also come to power. Okay, that's your what time. Are they that's going your time, to sir. Thank you. Please let somebody else talk. Okay, let somebody else talk. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please let the gentleman speak. I'll come to you, okay? Let the gentleman speak. Good morning. My name is Alasa Major. Yes, sir. Former Assemblyman Lamashogun North. I'm here to give a testimony to what Harun Idrisu has been doing. I'm a beneficiary of his uh, tremendous support to do my master's program. He paid fully for two years for me. <laughs> so myself and my family and some of my relatives, we are all going to vote for him. <laughs> Harun Idrisu, before he assumed the reins of power as the MP for this area, a lot of the areas were not having lights. Electricity. Electricity. Currently, we have about 100% coverage of electricity in the constituency. So I'm entreating everyone here. I know surely because the MPP themselves, they have given up the seat. That is the reason why they are not here. So we should not relent in our efforts in campaigning because they are not here. Our leader said we need 80,000 votes, 90,000 votes rather. So, and we are saying that we need 100,000 votes. So let the 100,000 be manifested. Thank you very much. All right. Now, if there are any issues you want your leaders to address, again, this is a platform to mention them. I understand that you want to acknowledge what they have already done, but also you need to speak to the things that you would like them to do so that they will hear while they are here, so they will be able to um, do them for you. All right. Yes, yes my lady. Let's was now, I want to say to you, you born in Ajayana Fisa Zakaria, Magajia. You are a lawyer, you are a lawyer, you are a lawyer, you are a lawyer. You are a lawyer, 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 you are a l
tuntun sa on tuntun sa dunia yangu zuru ya binam da zaduma tukpal insur la naun ka mp talka te borno ozea tan insur la naun nta zo ozal present zani hal vice ba oi kana te zan vice tani na ku nyam she ozan la present zani ka to suru ma mai na te tam la ngun pam zo sa ngobi on nang la la titi O yurlam dahil barka na awun sani. Ni niyong kura sani. Ni bibi ba mwara sani. O tuntum sa kongko na awun ni zang lala sami. Yuevjalema. Nzang yo. Thank you, Adja. Thank you, Adja. Thank you, Adja. Thank you, Adja. Adja, thank you. Adja, thank you. Shukuru. Bisha kam kwam. Pala tuma. De za. Te tum deli. Bwela cha atabu tumna. Bwela suka buwa no tuma lana. Shia pola kam ongata. Tuma ma anyali. Thank you. We'll take two more comments from here and then we'll take five comments from here, okay? Two more from here and then five from here. All right. All right, so um, for those of you watching on TV who do not understand um, what the lady said, she said that the things that Honorable Harina Idrisu has done in this constituency are uncountable, just like all the other people have said. However, she's asking that we need a president who would come and continue from where the NPP left off. So she's asking for John Dramani Mahama to be voted for, so that together with Honorable um, Haruna Idrisu, they'll be able to continue the good work in the constituency. That's what the lady said just now. All right. Ayazu! Ayazu Susa! Ayazu! And so I think that you want my contest can unopposed our honorable gang channel. Well, I check and yell, I can do no check on it. Now, I'm going to go to your dance and jump up and tell myself. And I'm going to come to the morning yelling. Sukur fees and Tana Jinsang, I yell my selection. And to yellow, go Kalika and Nacham Kalam, where Yellam and Nazam list Mato Kazanto. Go to the club and Shaka and the Dimacha. And I cut myself, go to Sanga. Nanda, when you end this, the Kanyan way, I can get Dagbana. And so, the gang to the gang to cut the bone, I can yell yam. Tolong saya tuh jinjin ni saya, nak cakap, tetapi vote kalau wabuk punya wan, ibu nengah kami, nak cakap wabuk punya wan, gang tu mami nak aku cakap gang tu, jangan terpakai jual tiada share kamu nak tanda, tuh kau buat sambala, ayesu, tuh bawa kita pergi ambuan nyuar nuale, no. All right, so she also said that in this election, it looks as if the Honorable um, Haruna Idrisu is running unopposed because according to her, the NPP candidates cannot match or stand him. Then she spoke about some time ago when she needed school fees for her child and she went to the Honorable Haruna Idrisu to assist and he didn't even ask her which party she belonged to because he didn't consider her political affiliation, but he went ahead and helped her. And so she's asking that going into the elections, um, they continue to vote for the Honorable um, Haruna Idrisu just by way of ex, um, explanation or translation for those of you who do not understand the language. Yes, please. You're, you're the last person from this side and then we'll come here. Yes, sir. Good morning to you all. Good morning. We just want to use the opportunity to welcome you into the Tamil South constituency. Thank you. Yes, sir. You talk of the challenges of the constituency. Yes, Honorable Haruna Idrisu has been doing well and continue to do well. When you come to uh, sanitation, you realize that today... You realize that today, all, all, all the dump side that you have seen, the Metropolitan Assembly is there, but he takes the tax to go around to evacuate these rubbishes. But once you know, the duty, the duty of the Assembly is to evacuate this rubbish and take it to the dump side. But right now, it is not the duty of the MP. Those things are just left over. If you leave it, they will leave it there, unless the MP brings money and high trucks to go and evacuate it. When you come to water, the metropolitan, you will take, once you have time, we will have take you to the last constituencies of the Tamil South. Around Paza and those areas, all of them are having water, what pipelines. But during the rainy season like this, it will be flowing. When it gets to the dry season, since Nada, Nanado resume office till to date, none of these pipelines will flow during the dry season. So we are even scared. When they said they will steal the election, we are looking at when there's the time for them to go and vote and they open the tabs. Our women will remain to fetch the water and also part of the stealing. So that is what we are looking at. So if you go, 
let the people know that we have pipeline in Tamil South. There's no area in Tamil South that Honor Haruna did not pass pipelines. When the people come with the complaint that we don't have pipelines, they'll come and do it. But as you know, the one village one dam has reached over 67,000 each dam. But yet, when you go there, you don't get water. The people are suffering. There's no water in the constituency. So we are telling them that, but the pipelines are there. They should urge the water company and buy them good machines to supply us water in the Tamil South. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, let me come to my lady here. Yes, madam. Hey, Hey, talking about the state of the economy basically and she's talking about the cost of, of food stuff so she says that the things that we used to buy at a certain amount is now the prices have gone up exponentially she talks about the price of be beans the price of tomatoes and other food stuff and she's basically asking members of this constituency to vote the NPP out now I for, for all of you here I see that all of you are members of the NDC and so it not all of you all right, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that some of the other parties have come. All right, but please let us not uh, chant party uh, expressions and so on, because this is not a rally, okay? We are here to speak to our leaders, to hear our problems and solve them for us. So let's try to do that without turning this into a rally, respectfully. Thank you. Madam, please go ahead. Hey, Yezu. Hey, Yezu, Hey, I just told you not to do that. Please don't do that. Thank That's you, Madam. That's why I'm no longer going to be able to i all right <laughs> And um, our lady who just spoke is talking about the fact that Haruna Idris is a very dependable person, a loyal person, and also a friend. And she says that whenever they need something and they go to the Honorable Haruna Idris, he's there to help them and he's there to listen. And so she's asking that he be voted for again in December. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm Abdullah E. Manan. In fact, I came here with some um, few questions for our NPP parliamentary candidate. But unfortunately, he is not here. You can so go I ahead and ask. I just want to make a testimony. For you can go ahead and ask. They are with, watching with and the they, they might the come NTP back yeah, to respond. My one question for him was, uh, they talk of one district, one factory. And Tamale Metro, we have two constituencies. 
that is Tambale South and Tambale Central. So I thought the MPP candidate was going to be present here so that he could tell the public here one of such factory which can be located either South or Central. Now to our honorable member of parliament, this man, I look at him to be like a baobab tree. A baobab tree, so big that everyone has his side of story about him. This is a man who does not discriminate. This testimony that I'm going to make, I wish that person was here. He's a, an NPP friend, pursuing medicine at University for Development Studies. This, our honorable member of parliament, is the one who is taking care of that person from year one. He's currently in his fifth year, doing his internship at TTH. She's a female, NPP, so our honorable member does not discriminate. And I have a blood brother. He is pursuing uh, law at Wisconsin University. It is this honorable Haruna Idris who is taking care of his fees and everything. So this is someone that we must not joke with. He's an asset to we Tamale South and Ghana as a whole. If you look at this man, wherever he lives in, in the country, ministry that he has passed through, he has a trademark there. Time is not on our side to elaborate all that things. So what I just want to say is that Honorable Harna should be rest assured. Both NDC and MPP, we are going to give him over 100,000 votes. It is not only NDC all who right. are voting for him. MPP are also voting for him. All right, we'll take two much. more from here. Yes, sir. Yeah, good, good morning to everybody here. My name is... Honorable Yuadu, former assembly member for Nakpanzu, also former presiding member for the Tamil Metropolitan Assembly. Uh, now you can see that there are a lot of former presiding members coming from Tamil South. That is the good mentorship of the Honorable Harun Idrisu we are talking about. So thanks to him, he's not only growing, but he's growing the people alongside, and we appreciate that. The, as an assembly member for my area, what I've come to notice is that the NPP and NDC developmental issues has been one-sided in a sense that, as you can all see today, this, this morning's engagement was supposed to be between the two parties. All NDC, parties. All, all, all the parties yes. we have in Tamil South. But you see that it's only the NDC which is representing. That this is not but I'm told that there are members from other parties here. This, this, so is, we'll not, from this is not the only incident where we are having the mandate prone to the NDC alone. When it comes to development, even their own PC, the parliamentary candidate for the NPP, if he's confronted by the constituents for developmental issues, he directs them to Haruna Idrisu. So it is only in Tamil South that we have one person who is serving as the member of parliament who is serving as the Metropolitan Chief Executive, and who is serving as the President for the Tamil South. Because all developmental issues, whether NDC is in government or in opposition, they look up to Haruna Idrisu. And our people have a saying that, the who, one who cares for your hunger is the one you show your empty stomach to. We know that Haruna Idrisu cares for the development of Tamil South. And that is why we believe that it is the reason why the NPP themselves are channeling their developmental issues through Harun Idrisu. And we appreciate his good work. We thank him for that. Thank you very much. All right. One, one more from here. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. OK. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm Dr. Simon Tepen, a medical laboratory scientist. I want to speak on behalf of the youth gathered here. Thank you. Previous submissions, you can see that there are a lot of educated youth in this constituency. Yes, sir. As uh, MP is sponsoring a lot of the youth. But he is not responsible for employment. Currently, there are a lot of youth in the house that do not have jobs, which the government needs to address. I'm a health worker, a laboratory scientist. It will amaze you that since 2019, there are other health professionals in the house that are not yet employed, including doctor of medical laboratory scientists, including nurses, including disease control, and all uh, and others. So I want to use this opportunity to channel our grievances to government, because 
the MP cannot do everything alone, especially when it comes to employment. He cannot employ. So we want that the government should address the employment issue or the unemployment issue. They said that they have employed 2.1 million people. We have not seen that. So we, the youth gathered here, all our health professionals, doctor of medical laboratory scientists, and any other professional, we are standing here channeling our grievances to government to see our need to employ us so that we can have our necessary services to the nation. Because health is very paramount to every nation. When you go to TTH and Tamale West, which is in this constituency, you go and you see few health professionals attending to large volumes of patients, which delays a lot of health delivery. Somebody will go to hospital that needs to uh, spend, let's say, an hour. You will spend the whole day there, which is a major concern, leading to low productivity. So we want the government to address unemployment issues in this country, in this constituency, so that the youth, as you can see, we are very vibrant, we can deliver very well, but the government is not seeing us as such. All so right. all our health professionals, doctors of medical laboratory and scientists, the youth of and Tamale the youth South. of Tamale South, all we right. want employment. Thank all you. Right. Now, before I come to you, gentlemen and lady, to speak, I want to ask, is there anybody here from any other party who has something to say before our leaders speak? Consent Hello. citizen, thank you very much. Anybody from any other, yeah, please let the gentleman speak. I'll take you and you, and then I'll come to the leaders. Now, good yes, morning. Sir. I'm Mohamed Abbas from John Shago. This morning, I can see how uncomfortable you are with the populace. It is evident from the work of the current MP. Now, you've been in the media space. For the last two decades that Honorable Haruna Idris has been our member of parliament, there is no single corrupt act that has been tagged to his name. There is none. For 20 years being our MP. So you should be comfortable and feel at home. So that we can tell you as concerned citizens of the constituency, the good things that he's been doing for his people. It is only right when someone is doing the right things, you have to appreciate it. Even God himself says when he do you good and he appreciates it, he asks you. And we, we are hopeful. That Honorable Haruna Idrisu is coming to add us. Now, the reason why the PC is not here is that he can't ac account to the people that he's seeking to lead. It is evident, everybody here knows, he's been awarded contracts to reshape our dams in this constituency. We all know where it has ended. That is why Fuzi is not here. And the crux of the issue is he can't even speak common grammar. That is why he's not here. No, but, but this is Look, not an no, English now, platform. Now, as a you can't speak any I'm, language I'm, on this I'm platform. worried. I'm worried mm -hmm. that. The level that Tamil South is, MPP can look us in the face and pick someone who can't even mention his name in Parliament to come and represent us. It's an insult to the constituency. We are not happy at all as concerned citizens of this constituency. And we are sending a signal to Fuji that the operation recover all loot when His Excellency John Dramama come, comes 7th January 2027. The Tamil South Committee of Operation recover the loot that he has looted in this constituency. It is not a threat. It is not a warning, it is an assurance that every penny that he's been given to to work in this constituency, he shall pay it. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, ge gentlemen, you may speak. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, madam. Uh, as you can see, everybody is saying the good aspect of Haruna. Even none, nobody is talking about his bad aspect. But they are just selling him. I get what I'm saying. Did you tour around the constituency to see what is going around? I've been around. Thank you. Did you enter the Kwanzo? Just the Kwanzo here. They don't have even a good road there. Even a portable water to drink, they don't have. Yeah. Now, wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. Let me, let me tell you something. Please allow they say, him to speak. They say he has been, he allow, has been, allow he has been sponsoring to people to go to education, to go to school. That he has been sponsoring people to go to school. Not even one person named that they've mentioned here. Tell them to pinpoint one person that he has supported to uh, go to education. Now let's come to my Please, own let electoral speak. area. Let to my speak. own electoral area. To my own electoral area. To my own electoral area. Let me tell you something. To my own electoral area, as we are just an, it's just an evidence base for you to see the food that is here. It's all me to be by now. He has been an MP for 20, 20 good years. Look at our food here. Just look at our food here. When it rains, the youth of the Lamashagusaf cannot play football match here. 
We have the most populated uh, community in Tamale Sap, Islam Ashugu Sap. Madam, can you imagine the toilet that we are using? It's only one toilet, public toilet that we are having. The other one. One toilet. One toilet. I can even show you. In the whole It's Australia. just now. It's just now. Look, Lama Shakusa, if you want after this program, you will go and telecast it to show to people how people are queuing, queuing to just enter the toilet to free themselves. Master, let me ask you something. Just this food that I'm talking about. The food that I'm talking about, by now, it should not be AstroTef. He has been an MP for 20 good years. And you said we should uh, talk. Now let me come to the nation. Please, we are begging our people to vote for Alaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He can be the, the only one who can save the nation. Thank you very much. All right. Um, let, let me come. Let me come to. No. No. Let, let's let's let the leaders speak, and then we'll come to you. Okay. Let's let them speak. Please. Who who which, which of you has the microphone? You have the microphone. All right. Now a lot has a lot has been said a lot has been said and from 90% of the comments that the youth have come to the microphone to say it appears that they are satisfied with the work that the member of parliament is doing so so let us talk about the the 1% which shows that there's still work to be done because that's also important all right it's also important so just sitting over here uh, I saw some of the school buildings here, and I wondered about them. Are these school buildings in use? Yeah, thank you very much, madam. And I think uh, from the submissions and presentations so far, um, it is very clear that uh, the people of Tamale Sab are content with what the Honorable MP is doing. Uh, I want to react to what our brother who just spoke said uh, sometimes it is better to keep quiet and look intelligent than to speak and expose your ignorance your party is in power and the responsibility to construct rules and provide water to the people is the duty of the government why is it that your party is in government and has failed to provide these things? And but then, but then the member of parliament is responsible for lobbying for development to come into the constituency. Yes, I will come to that. Okay. Uh, he's talking about lack of potable water for the people of Nakwanzu and Rose. Uh, as we speak, he should just move to Nakwanzu. We have been able to construct a mechanized two boreholes for the people of Nakwanzu. That is the work of the Honorable MP for Tamale Sab, Haruna Idrisu. Apart from Nakwanzu, to talk about water provision to the people of Tamale Sab, I can mention about 13 communities that, communities that we have constructed mechanized boreholes for the people. In terms of uh, pipe lines, we have extended pipelines to so many communities in this constituency. The types are not flowing. Is it the responsibility of the MP to move to Ghana Water Company and turn the, turn the valve so that the water can flow? Before 2016, water was there for people. We we're getting water. But after the MPP party assume the leadership of this country. No water has flowed through the types again. They are doing that deliberately. They are doing that, going around telling people that the people of Tamale Metropolis don't vote for MPP. For that matter, when, when they are did going they to punish that? them for not voting when was for that MPP. Said? That is the, what MPP who said, who said that? MPP parliamentary candidate and their constituency executives. That is the information they have been carrying around. Do you around. have any evidence of this? I have so much evidence. When, why did they say that? Wherever they go, they have been meeting the people. And wherever they go to campaign, what they do ask the people is that, that you people don't have water, but you have MP. Why is it that the MP is not providing water? Meanwhile, within themselves, they know that provision of potable water to the people 
is not the responsibility of the MP. It is the responsibility of the central government. Why is it that government is not doing it? And why is it that the MPP people are not worried that their party is in government and people are suffering? Okay. Why? L let me ask you this question. What do you say to people who say that the provision of potable water is a very basic need? When the gentlemen spoke earlier, a lot of them said that they have gotten sponsorship to do their master's degree and other education, which is also important. But water is a basic need. If the MP has the resources to be able to support education, why is he not able to channel some of those resources to the provision of basic water? Yes, it's like uh, you want me to repeat what I have said early, earlier on. I did mention that the MP has extended pipelines to so many communities in this constituency. And I can mention com communities like Chanchego, Banvam, Kakwayele, Dohane, Dungo, Vetang, Lamashego, North Lamashego, Sab, Kuko. So the lines are present, the but the water is not there, flowing. But the water is not flowing. And I think it is not the responsibility of the MP to let the water flow. Okay, it is the responsibility of Ghana of, Water of government Company to, and the government. Do you know if the MP has engaged the Ghana Water Company to find out what the issue actually is? He has been there the on a number of times. He has been there on a number of times. And what is he but told? the people, the excuses that they normally give is that that the treatment, the water treatment plant that we have in the region is only one. And looking at the size of the region, or looking at the size of the Tamil metropolis, the machines are not able to pump water to everywhere within the Tamil metropolis. But does it go anywhere in Tamil South at all? Tamil South, for almost eight years now, the types are not flowing. No water. No water at all. Meanwhile, all right. we have laid pipelines to so many communities, yet they don't get water. All right. Now, somebody spoke about sanitation also. You, you can let somebody else speak. If, if, somebody else, if somebody else wants to speak. Somebody else wants to speak. So uh, a gentleman yes. spoke about sanitation, that you are able to take the rubbish to a central point, but it's not moved. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, we are very happy with this initiative being carried on by TV3 Ghana. We appreciate it. I, I am shell-shocked and flabbergasted uh, by the utterances of the MPP guy who just spoke. In fact, coming from an area, I don't even know that there are certain things that have been done by Honorable Harold. But you know what? I'm not surprised by his actions because the MPP, that the way they are, they pretend nothing is happening unless what is favoring them. What I have to say is, regarding sanitation, uh, I'm sure by now your crew should have been displaying it. I've shown, I've given out video uh, pictures to your crew to display them. How Honorable Harold has been carrying debris and rubbishes among those, those that have been hit for so many ages. One of husband has been doing it. Then you should have, you should have thrown the challenge to the mayor of Tamale. Yes. I am very surprised that he's not even here. Because yes. they collect our taxes. Ghana Water Company, so Ghana Water Company, they have a director for the region. They also have a director for national. Mr. Clifford Bremer is the director, director general for Ghana Water Company, the whole country. What are they telling him as his person? Because he is a member of the MPP. And you have the right to let water flow within Tamale and its environs. That is not a concern to the MPP. They are throwing it to you, Honorable Harvard Idrisu. You see how hypocrisy works within the region. Now, regarding sanitation, <laughs> regarding sanitation, virtually every community within Tamale South Constituency have benefited in one way or the other through Honorable Harvard Idrisu. Wow. I can count numerous toilet projects that have been carried on by one of our ideas. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy glad people you mentioned are here. toilets because he mentioned a yeah, toilet he, too. He yes. says there's only one toilet. You see, madam, I, I, I'm not going to bother you. Just raise your head and look at here. Just stand up, look at here. There are toilets here. Okay. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Uh, gentlemen, just, you, by now you, you should, hello, by now you should be denouncing your membership from the MPP for your leader's inability to be present here. That is a mark of disrespect and gross insubordination. You should be defending MPP. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, Dungu, Dungu, I'm heard, but people are here. They can confirm. The pictures are with your crew. They can display them. We have 20 toilet seated toilets inside Dungu. We have 20 seated toilets inside Kobe Mahagu. We have 20 seated toilets inside Bisco. We have 20 seated toilets inside Tamale Girls International. 
We also have 20 seated toilets inside Bricella. We have 20 seated toilets inside Nalum. We have 20 toilets inside Lamachegu. In fact, acquire toilet. We have two toilets there being constructed and it's being used. As a lot of honor of this one is 20 seater. Then one is 10 seater, all done by honor of Hanadrisu. Then we also have one we call Ezu. We also have one we call uh, Banjir Belene. There is a toilet there constructed by honor of Hanadrisu. Then I'll go to the Bokba. There's a 20 seater toilet done by honor of Hanadrisu. We have 20 seater toilet then, but done by honor of Hanadrisu inside Vatang Tabuashi. We also have another 20 seater toilet inside San Jirugu. I am mentioning communities okay. and people are there. And they are all in this constituency. Yes, they are all in this constituency. Okay. So if you are saying you are not seeing all this, that means you are doing it deliberately or you have debris covering your eyes because of your political inclination or you are leading to the MPP. You see, I can go on and on all and right. on and on. All right. Until further notice, because right. we cannot count everything. What, but what I must put on record is, hello, Ezu. What I want to put on record is, the MPP are here. They should be asking the mayor of Tamale what he has been doing the MP, uh, the, the common, Assembly's common fund for. He cannot right. account for whatever the money has been sent for. He cannot account for it. All right. But now we shouldn't be talking about uh, carrying All heaps right. of rubbishes. All right. Uh, let, me, the let, me come back. This money let me come to back the to this gentleman who made those assertions. Um, he's, made, he, he's given us a full list of places where, uh, where uh, madam, toilets please, have been please. constructed. Um, please. No, please, I allow called, him to call. I was called, I was called by your, 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 please go ahead. your technicians. Please go I ahead. I was called by your technicians to come and sit and have it's a okay. seat. It's okay, yes. But if the NDC chairman here is threatening me that if I say something which is going to tarnish the image of lawyer Harna, he's going to beat me. I'll, I'll he said he's case. going Thank to you. beat you. That is why he said that he will beat me. No, he... he oh, I swear before man and God that he's the one to tell me. Ask him, he's the one sit to down. tell me. Sit down, sit down. He said it. You have Thank the you very much. Here. No, sit down, sit down. No, no, I can't, I can't continue. I can't continue. That is why he's telling me yes. I can't continue with it. This, this, I thought this, I thought this was going to be something that. No, 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 no. So my life is at rest, so I, I don't need to be here again. All right, all right, all right. Um, please let the chairman speak. Let the chairman speak. Let him speak. Let, let him speak. Let him, please, you can go ahead and speak. Um, the the reason. All right, let's all calm down. Let's let's calm down. Let's calm down. I think I think that the good people of Tamale South will agree with me that it's important for us to have a balanced conversation. That way, we'll be able to tease out what the issues are and allow our leaders to address them. These conversations are important for you. Okay, we can decide to come here and just be happy and say good things only, and our leaders will not know what our problems are, and they cannot help us solve them. So it's important for us to have a balanced conversation so that the issues will be brought to the fore. That is why, that is why it's good for people who are on the other side to also join the conversation. But why are you threatening to beat somebody up? <laughs> Did you threaten to beat him up? Uh, no. You I didn't? Don't, I don't think so. So he's lying? Uh, too late, too late. No point to be training this one. Kapoong will come back to this one. Ezu. No point, no point will come back to this one. No point will come back to this one. Kajale, kapoong to be training this one. No point will come back to this one. Si vitrine karate on va de vie pam. Wa pli so mon karate jip ti ono santé programme. La la wa pli va wa pou mon ma because be bo la te mena leaders. Be bo la te mena leaders ne te karate jin jingo. Ka leaders ka kon kanena. Ka ye kanena ti ya la ye le to chel ma de kanen. Do be jingo te jingo madame. Tu bien sûr, d'un tel cas pour qu'on canne ma nana yala yala de bayi. Bien que la nana te jure que fusionne les gens que, quand tu as ma moitié les gens que, ben si tu en as un bois bas, ne peux les tel cas t'as mal en cas pour le dire yala cas ben non. Avant les gens ma, ben un bois fusionne, ne peux les tel cas t'as mal en cas pour le donc y a le cas t'es que j'ai mis chasse les gens, t'as mal en cas là pour le. Halt non son son, le machin a tous on voit pour le monde quoi là. Thank you, Paul.
You don't have any work apart from po the uh, uh, poetry selling. You don't poetry selling. You are selling your clothes. So that's why you don't come here. In secondary, uh, 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 New Year's School. I want to stand here and call Fisen for debate. Me and Fisen, at the Harmony District Chairman, I want to stand here and tell the Fisen that it's come me and him to come to debate and talk the English. They're able to know that Fisen don't Fisen don't office speak English. I get you. That means I'm saying no But this English. is not a platform for English. You that can one, speak uh, any hey, language okay, you want. Okay, fine. So this is what you hear. You have to be English. 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 You have to be 200 and 227 police stations. You have to be one. 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 This is what you have to be one. You have to be one. You ababa <laughs> Alright. So what Alaji, I think Alaji translated some of what he said into English, but um, the part he didn't mention, I think, was that any police station in this constituency, over 200 police stations, he's saying that... Yes, 227 yeah, constituencies. He's saying that in all these constituencies, Honorable Harry Idrisu will win. He also said earlier that he wishes that the Member of Parliament had come today so that there will be a clear debate here on the issues. And he ended by encouraging everybody in the constituency to go and vote for the Honorable Harry Idrisu. But, 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 he also spoke about land sale. But I, I want us to I want us to come back to addressing our issues because that's why we are here. And my lady, you wanted to speak earlier before. Okay, you have the microphone. All right, please go ahead. I I wish I wish that the women who spoke, any of them, had spoken about issues that are affecting women in the constituency. But none of them specifically spoke to women's issues. Can you speak to us about some of the interventions for women in the constituency? that um, the Honorable Harina Idrisu is doing or plans to do for the women in the constituency. Yes, thank you very much for this opportunity. And I have to thank the TV3 for this initiative. And it has really exposed a lot of the things that were hidden from the mainstream media. And indeed, when we want to talk about the interventions of our Honorable MP, Member of Parliament, indeed, we will not finish today. And for women, He's one person that is very passionate about helping vulnerable women. And as you may know, our constituency has a large proportion of rural communities in our constituency. And for that matter, he has taken it up upon himself to make sure that, indeed, he helps these vulnerable women. He has been giving them interest-free loans. Some take as much as a thousand cities, some take 500 cities. And these are okay. women that undertake petty trading. They do agro-processing, like they sell local bean cake, what we normally call kose, among others. And these are women that would do a lot more for their households. Because we know that women are the, um, mostly in most cases, they take care of the households. They do the cooking, they do take care for the children, sometimes they are schooling and all that. So he has taken about himself to provide them with these interest-free loans so that they'll be able to enhance the little they are doing. And this ties into our main manifesto where we want to put up this women's bank that will help many of these vulnerable women to be able to do the little business that they will do to take care of their households. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to come back to the microphones. I'll take three comments from here and then three from here, and then our leaders will speak. All right. Yeah, yes, please. 
the microphone is open now. If you want to speak, you may go ahead. Nande Sogo. I'm for some channel TV train. I'm sunny. I'm Zan Lachetti, Alasa Mokai, and Chairman Bella, Kati Yimal Titina. Come for some lunch and Zanya Sunny. Zanya is sunny. Torozo, eh, Tazan Lachetti, and the Chossy lawyer Haruna Idris Yetra. Why are you trying to talk to us in Nagi? What to Tumsa? Now, so Munina Kapaba Katajin Dabia. Jami Zuai dan yita lorena da jere ka twa dani nto kon da ban fable ngun yina nto zani nson paba ka te zaha ka te ninnege andam ko lan yina nto tuntu jela nya shukuti bun shakam won nan titi torozo loya haruna nguna oya twa de kazan bosi ngun nya mon yuli kazan mon pul kazan bojo all right, so she's talking about um, loans that Honorable Harry Nadu has given to women in the constituency. And she says when they go to him for loans, he gives to them. And then she started actually by saying that the number of things that Honorable Harry Nadu has done in this constituency are uncountable. All right, yes, my lady. Well, um, I'm the person of Abu Bakar Salma Mikashene. And well, I'm a student. Too. Speak into the microphone, okay? Well, I'm the person of Abu Bakar Salma. I uh, just graduated. I, I graduated this year in SHS. Well, uh, um, one woman was mentioning a lot of things here, and I think she was very correct. Looking at the business for now, I have a mom, and she's a businesswoman. It's not easy to get whatever you want or whatever you plan in a script in the market. No. So please. Yo, though we are we are growing up, yes, we are the youth, of course. And this is going to be my first time of voting. And I promise my vote is for lawyer Haruna. And it must be. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, madam. So you want to name Natcha Alasan. Yan Mani Mani and Yin and Tosas and Lawyer Haruna to do, sir. The Kazan Brosi. Why am I no Wula? But let the Papa. Hala mo ni na gba so la ida mbuhu mi sim konko do ma lanka to ni ba no aki o sani don ko mi to konko ma ji pele pele ko nya dan ka te dar ma ji pele wan sidi ban sha dan da dar yelin 2000 bupo o wan sidi nyale adal na daba laka yan zanzo tu sidi adal na daba laka yan zanzo te ya ne te bi ji te mante yana ne ma sa won ya no bi ji te jam la te ji mi sim kam na de mi te pam ama lo ya haduna Zonyo, Ganzu, those who are willing to be on the Ganzu, those who are the one that come and you know what thing you know and know the shell. Now, when I'm eating your photo for the shell. All right, and uh, she says, um, Harina, Harina Idriso has no match. She spoke about the cost of some food stuff on the market, Maggie Cube, I think. It used to be one city, she said. And uh, basically asking more people to vote for um, Honorable Harina Idriso. Was well, that our third person from the side? So we have to come here. Three people. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, now, Shoko. Yes, sir. Um, I am called Abdullah Abdul Mumin. Uh, apparently, I am a living testimony of Haruna Idrisu. I think his educational scholarship program, I was also a part of it when I was going to the university. Uh, it happens a certain time when he took power, Kobel Magu, and then uh, uh, a certain part of Kuko wasn't having electricity. And then uh, his first flagship program, he rolled out about, uh, uh, about uh, 40 poles both for Kuko and then Kobel Mahago, for uh, this is the uh, extension of the electricity. And then again, gave out about 154 uh, uh, inch pipes for water extension for both Kuko and then Kobel Mahago. And then gave out, uh, as of uh, 2016, he gave out about 15,000 Ghana cities for uh, this an extension of the pipeline to Bewa in Kuko. And also, I used to work at uh, TTH for about over four years. Uh, pediatrics for that particular matter was a supply of here over there. Okay. There are a number of times, countless times, you know, Honorable Aruna Idrisu helps those that he knows and those that he didn't know. Both NDC, MPP, or regardless of the part, political party that uh, you are coming from. Any time that a, a seeker came and then are uh, unable to this, uh, fulfill uh, the payment of their bills, when we just call upon him, Number one, may Allah uh, Almighty Allah forgive uh, this, the soul of our former uh, 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 chairman, regional chairman, Alaji Ibrahim Bobla. 
Any time that uh, existing that person needs arise and we call upon him, the first thing you call upon Aruna. Aruna, this person is in this church. We have done that for about 19 times, and I know I have their records All right. just because of uh, this. And today I have that their record about 19 personality. He came and then settled their bills amicably. And uh, if you want, there is another li living testimony. All right, in, no, that, that's in, enough. That's in, your time. In, in Niku, I'm let somebody let somebody else talk. Okay, let somebody else talk. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. TV3, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My humble appeal goes to lawyer Haruna Idrisu, Murtala Muhammad, Alassan Suhini, and ABF Sini. And my simple reason is this. Tamale is becoming choked. My dear sister, if you drive through the Teddy rank up to Ababu, the place is congested. One would have thought that any responsible government that thinks of the people, have the people at heart, the least opportunity you get in terms of land space, you use it to do what? To dwell, to dwell for the people, not to sell them. Unfortunately, typical of MPP, characteristic of land grab. Go to West Hospital, opposite West Hospital. A land there, which would have been used to expand Ababu market, to create an enabling environment for our mothers, our sisters, a lot of people to get jobs. They shared it among themselves. They shared it for what? They sold it to themselves. I mean MPP. So those lands have currently been developed. They sold them to themselves and are currently being developed. Now, what we MPP supporters are saying, we are watching. We are watching John, Mama, John Dramani Mama. We are watching the Anna Rizu and Co. Whether if they will come, they will not make conscious effort to retrieve all this. Or else, Ghana will break loose. Uh, all right. Good morning. Uh, before he goes, the West Hospital he mentioned, is it in Tamale South? It's in Tamale Central. Okay, all right. Good morning. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, I'm the person of Haruna Mujahid. Okay. But I want to speak in uh, my local dialect. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, my Haruna, NDC member of Kunyama, Kamal NDC bearing card. But one thing disheartening me is the Honorable Member Haruna Idrisu, over parliament, maybe over 20 years or just 20 years now, but. But my tele, Tamale Savzaha, I go to you maybe a major factory like Shane Art Factory. Think when be here at Tamale Savu, Katie Biani. Think when you come to Shane Art Factory, can you turn on your car? Can I? Nyama, tomorrow you mean? Can you change the period? Our mothers who usually go to the farms and look for the Shane Art design, they also be getting maybe immediate uh, point of sales. But this ah, I let them hear. But they didn't do anything to me. But <laughs> Now, he's talking about the one district, one factory promise. He says he's a young person in this constituency and that if the factories had been constructed, at least he would also have gotten a job to do currently um, in the constituency. Was that a third person or second? So you be the third. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. First of all, I want to thank TV3 Ghana for this wonderful initiative. I just want to make something clear. The MPP guy who came here to mess up this program. I am a witness to Honorable Haruna Idrisu paying his school fees when he was in Tamale Technical University. The same young man. That same guy. And he also dared Honorable Haruna Idrisu that there is no living testimony. No one can testify that he has done something good for him. I, Abu Bakari Salahuddin, I'm currently at Winston International University College in Kumasi, pursuing law. And he's the one taking care of everything for me. And I always thank him for the wonderful things that he's doing. And we pray, and inshallah, come December 7th, we'll give him the 100,000 votes that he's been yearning for. Thank you. All right, so I'll come to our leaders here. I see the former um, honorable member of parliament for Walu Wale uh, has joined us. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, madam. Yes, sir. And I want to thank TV3 very much for organizing this for it's, it's okay. Is he okay where he is? 
You, you want him to come this way? Uh, you, is that the chair still there? Okay, it's gone. All right, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm just from the hospital. I was on admission. I've just been discharged. Are you all right, I sir? I watched this program from the hospital. Oh. And I want to come to tell you that Haruna, Haruna Idrisu. Please have a seat, sir. Haruna Idrisu is not for only Tamale South. No. Please have a seat. I'm from Parliament, and I want to talk about Haruna Idrisu. Just two minutes. Bang, 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 bang. He's in charge of the country. He's in charge of, of the, the country. country. What, what is the meaning as of that? As far as politics is concerned. What, what does that mean? It means he takes care of all in the country. All members of Parliament, despite your, 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 your party appellation. I'm telling you from Parliament. Can you explain further? I will explain. Members of Parliament seek assistance from Honorable Haruna. Throughout, whether you are an MPP or you are an NDC, he casts across the whole country. I'm from Wale Wale. He has just been there. I can't tell you what he has done to us. I, I, I went with him to war. He pays our, our dues. He pays our hospital bills. I'm just from hospital this morning. He has come to pay my bills. I want to tell that he's taking care of all the former MPs in this country. Former MPs, if not for him, would have all died. For the, past 20, for the past eight years, 27 of us have died. We can't even buy our medicals. But we have our, 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 our salaries, which were cut by, by, by the government. And they are sitting on our, 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 our salaries. They have not yet paid us, all former MPs. I'm making this appeal seriously to the government in power today to release all money's men for former MPs. We are dying. <laughs> if not for Aruna Idrisu, a lot of us would have been gone. We have been gone. My dear, it's so sympathetic. People think that Haruna Idrisu is only serving Tamale, Tamale in, in all. No. It's the whole country. He pays our, school to, our, to our children's school fees. It's so sudden that people don't even care. One person came here to say that he didn't provide water for an area. That brought me here. How do I do this? He's not an angel. The duty of a member of parliament is not to come and construct roads. He's not to provide water, but he's doing it. How he's doing it, only Allah knows. Our duty is not to go to parliament to come and construct roads. We are, we are supposed to make laws and defend our budget and the constitution. That's why we are there. All what he's doing in this town, we ask him, where do you get the money from? You alone. Women in, in, in problems, you go there. Men in problems, you are there. The youth in problems, you are there. Abba, I can't All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you Honorable. Much. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Unfortunately, we have exactly two minutes before they take us off um, TV. So I'll take, I'll take uh, final words from you. Any of you can, uh, any of you, any of you can speak. Final words. Um, just to wrap up the conversation we've had today and what promises you can make to the young people in this constituency who also have called on you to fulfill certain obligations uh, to them. Uh, thank you very much. I think... Do you want to give him... Okay. So he, he wants to allow you one minute to speak and then he'll use one minute to wrap up. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. For me, I'm here to thank TV3 and NBC participants. You see, there is something we Ghanaians must understand. MPP now, they don't respect us. Look at the whole TV3. I think you've been in contact with them, not today, for weeks, for this program. So where are their executives? So they should respect Ghanaians. Now that they have what they want, they should wait. We'll punish them on the 7th. All right. Yes, sir. Wrap, wrapping up. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I think from the beginning of this program, the testimonies concerning the performances of Honorable Haruna Idrisu is very enormous. And we don't need anybody to inform Ghanaians and educate Ghanaians the kind of MP that we have. Um, I believe we have a target as constituency. The MP set a target. That is we want by 8th December, Tamale South constituency should be winning this elections by over 90,000 votes. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Uh, regarding
developmental projects. I think uh, Honorable Abu Tokuro did mention a whole lot of them. But he asked one question which I want to respond to. He was talking about sitting and writing places for students. Uh, the Tamale Metro Education Directorate is quite aware of what MP is doing in terms of uh, providing or provision of uh, writing and sitting places. Every year we produce over 1,000 dual dexes for our basic schools. And we are going to increase it come next year, God willing. We hope that NDC is winning these elections. And after the victory, we will come out and inform not only the electorates of Tamale South alone, but all people within the Tamale metropolis, what we are going to do to enhance teaching and learning within the metropolis. All right. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you very much to you, ladies and gentlemen, all of you who came out. Thank you to all of you here at um, Tamale South constituency, all the young people who came out um, to participate in this community engagement. We are grateful to all of you. And to you for taking time off to watch Community Manifesto today. Thank you so much. We continue to stay in the northern region. We've been to Central. We've been to Tamale South. We'll go to Tamale uh, North. We'll be in Salaga. We'll be in Upper West. We're going to the Savannah region. And so we have more episodes of Community Manifesto coming to you from northern Ghana. My name is Na Ashoko. Thank you so much for watching today.